Now we do, and then I'll go into feminine energy. We do have a, a little graphic that will display both and it'll give you a better idea of what each one is. And feminine is more about being. It ha it's, it's a lot more unpredictable in a sense because it, uh, it, you flow from one place to another. So feminine energy is more circular. You don't go from, uh, uh, from a linear place of uh, A to B. So if you can see in the graphic there, you have uh, uh, feminine energy is in being, it's receiving. Uh, it's able to receive from the universe and in terms of being able to law of attraction, we're going to talk about in terms of how it's done through feminine energy. There's also an intuitive mind, such as the a feminine energy understands from within, uh, going internal in terms of uh, what to do next, what things mean. Whereas when you look at the masculine energy, which is more on action oriented, which is more doing, it, 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 uh, it, it likes to give. Meanwhile, feminine likes to receive. And uh, the difference between the two is when you see feminine energy, as it's intuitive, you have the opposite with masculine energy. That's a logical mind. A logical mind comes from a level of experience. It comes from knowledge. It comes from that level of precision and clarity. And uh, when it comes to what the strengths are, well, the feminine energy is able to draw its strengths by going internal. And that's where the intuitive comes from and, and going into the soul. Meanwhile, masculine energy is external. It's more, as it's more action oriented, it's getting things accomplished. And, uh, and, and that's how things fall. So now what's very interesting is there you have, uh, when it comes to intuition, you have the fluidity, right? Which is that circular motion of not just going from A to B, but essentially you, of, of, in feminine energy, you can actually go from A to C on, based on intuition. And uh, there you have, that's why you have to allow it. You have those specific things such as feeling and you're able to be creative. It's the creative mind. And when it comes to the masculine, you have that difference of projectiveness, being able to focus. These are your words, focus, clarity, planning, all those very masculine energy based. And there you have the imbalance. If the, so what we talked about is you need the harmony of balance. When you're imbalanced and on a feminine side, you're feeling powerless. You're going more into manipulation than towards love. You're going into needy as opposed to being internal and uh, being able to receive receive from the universe and from oneself. And uh, when it comes to uh, uh, also when you're imbalanced, you're overly sensitive and codependent. Co what's codependency? When you're depending on others to meet your needs versus yourself. And uh, when, it, when you have the imbalancement on masculine energy, you have, uh, instead of you know, being able to give and uh, be in that harmony, you're in an aggressive, confrontational, controlling, um, and a micromanaging, competitive, and that's where the imbalancement comes from. So that's, that gives you, does that give you a good understanding? And the balanced is you wanna be able to be able to use both. And we'll go into how you can lean into more of each one based on where you're sitting at or which which one you're more operating from.